my data drive died on Saturday. So I had to spend, oh, no. I had a backup. That's, that's the thing. I do make backups. You should make backups. Everyone should make backups. Just the trick about backups is you have to get the backup off the backup onto the new. And that was 6.2 terabytes of files going from one old style spinning hard drive to another spinning hard drive. It took approximately 24 hours. Yeah. And obviously you have no computer that whole time. Oh, I could get into safe mode. I, I, yeah. I could save mode was, yeah, the, yeah. It was it was a giant gigantic pain in, in the took us. Wow. Sorry I missed that. I actually did things leaving the house this weekend because they moved my chemo day from Friday to Monday. So I didn't feel like crap all weekend. Okay. So I like left the house and did things. I went to brunch. I went and saw John Wick. It was lovely. They put you on a chemo. I had day. like a huge end. They were just they were they were fully booked Friday, so they moved me to today. I, honestly. On chemo days, I usually feel great. It's just after. Yeah. So I I actually feel really good today. Um, but like, I moved my work day this week from th Wednesday to Friday because Wednesday I'm gonna feel like crap. So yeah. But I finished twelve rounds of the first drug. Next week I start on the new drug, and that's only every three weeks. Well, that's good. So, love that for me but I might cry bright red tears, which is very metal. Okay. Yeah. I... The actual drug is apparently the color of our backdrop. <laughs> so then it comes out in like your sweat and your tears for a few days. Science is terrifying. So... Yeah. Just one step closer to my final towel wear it form. Well then, this week. I hate it when people come up with something new. How do they keep... Ow! I love it when they come up with something new. I've been don't... at this a long time. I don't. It's horrifying. That takes work. Yeah, but... Not... You're jaded old fucks. It's not good work. It's like, you know kind of it's like you know the inquisition kind of work that that was a lot of work too i respect it though i respect being able to innovate each week catherine the re what the fuck so oh, which wrong thing um uh, no. at the wrong button each week catherine radio to our audience about the worldwide interwebs find all sorts of horrible stuff bring it back here for a little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you? Some of this is is a bit the same, but we're gonna get into the. You're, okay, you're actually gonna be horrified. I I I when we get near the end, because I was like, oh no. This this is like like those those Japanese cartoons that certain people like a little too much. Um. Oh. But we'll get there. Starting off here, that's uh, we're going to a Target or a Target, as as me and my friends are wanting to call it. That's what I call it. Yeah. Um. So, uh, yeah, this guy, honey, bless your heart, man with cart full of stolen goods, walks out of Lacey's Target for store to find officer outside. Now, when you find out why, oh boy, um. Lacey Washington, a man is in jail after he was found with a stolen car full of containing stolen merchandise over the weekend. Lacey police officer, come on, hit the button. There it is. There it is. Um, Lacey police officer found a stolen car in the parking lot of the Target store. While he was while she was outside with the car, another officer went inside to get surveillance video. Meanwhile, a man inside the store walked out with a shopping cart full of stolen merchandise. When he saw the officer waiting at the stolen car, he ran away, was eventually taken into custody. So, in order to go shoplifting at the Target, he stole a car. 
to hold everything. See, he could have just acted like he forgot something and gone back in. <laughs> just been like, shoot, I'll be going. Oh, shit. Yeah. Whatever. But it's... just go back in. It, oh, oh. Because... He's... If you don't take the property off of their, like, then you haven't stolen it. You've stolen the car, but they don't have to know that. I, I got to put up, do you see all of what he stole? It's amazing. It's just, it's just boxes and boxes of Legos. Just boxes and boxes Yay. of Legos. That shit. There's so much to that, steal at Target. That shit is eBay gold. Oh, okay. You you could flip that that uh, that Lego shit on eBay. In fact, <clears throat> even not even the stealing. Here's what grown men do. They go to the Target and the Walmart, and they used to go to Toys R Us, but they can't anymore. And they buy up all the new hot toys the day they come out and go up on the shelves, and they take them home. And they put them up on eBay for inflated prices. So they ruin shit for children. Yes! Exactly! Yes. But, uh, yeah. So he refused to give his name or any information, but told officers he had just taken fentanyl. Swerve? I mean, YOLO. <laughs> He was taken to the hospital where he identified himself, then, then discovered the suspect is from Federal Way and had a felony arrest warrant for possession of a stolen vehicle. A different I mean, I stolen guess, vehicle. I guess once you take federal, I guess once you take the fentanyl, it's 50-50 whether you're going to die. So just do some shit. Police said the man had stolen items from a Target store in Olympia earlier that day. So he just he stole the he stole a car and he filled it with Legos. Went to just all the targets, stealing all the Legos. Didn't even buy them, just stealing them. In a stolen car. See, the thing about a stolen car is they're like the anti Santa. <laughs> a stolen car is something they actually go looking for. They'll go looking for. And you know a great place to find cars? A parking lot. Yeah. A nice, big, well-lit parking lot. And a cop drives by and, hey, it's got that tight, that, uh, we're going to look out for that, uh, that, uh, tight, that tag right there. So, uh, you're fucked. Just the fuck? This asshole. Try to keep your crimes to, like, one at a time if you can. I, I, it's it weird makes saying this. Easier. It would it would have been better if he just got an Uber, because they yeah. wouldn't have had any they wouldn't have had any tip off to him. But then again, you know he'd be stealing Legos and shoving them in an Uber. Well, he probably wouldn't have paid for the Uber. No, that's true. Or with and the stolen credit card there. or some shit. Yes. So, uh. I know I said we had some new stuff. We do have a bit of the old stuff tonight. It happened again. I don't know why this keeps happening because it's got a very clear outcome that that does not it doesn't it never changes. Passenger on flight from LAX to Seattle detained after opening emergency exit door. Why? I've had no win. A passenger on a flight from Los Angeles to Seattle was detained Saturday morning after opening an emergency exit door. The incident, ha the incident happened around 10 a.m. on a Delta flight departing LAX. So they weren't even landing. It was like, I got to get out of this fucking plane. They were leaving. According to airport officials, the passenger opened the emergency exit door of the air test as the plane was moving away from the gate. That triggered the emergency slide to deploy. Police responded to take... So at least you weren't in the air. No, well, I mean, literally you can't open the door in the air. No matter last guy, No, the last guy tried it in the air. He tried it. It wasn't going to work, but... Yeah, 
Yeah, the FBI was notified. The plane returned to the gate. Passengers were escorted off and transported to another plane. You made people miss their fucking flights. Yep. You, you, you ruined everybody's day. Just presumably to be like, I wonder what would happen. Here's what happens. Jail. They, they It's not like, huh. Well, that's what happened. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. No, you're going to jail. Yeah. At the very least, they're going to take so many fines out of you. And you're not flying. Just curious is not an excuse. I just I just want to see what happened. Who the fuck are you, Mr. Wizard? Go bug Bill fucking Nye. You want to see what'll fucking happen. But just go watch Superman Returns. Yeah. That literally happens in the first 10 minutes of the movie. The heck, yeah, people are chilling. like, what do you think is going to happen? What magical difference is like, yep, that certainly is an emergency slide, all right. Yeah, everybody, it's working, don't worry. <laughs> Daryl says, I wonder what would happen if it's something you type into Google, not something to conduct on first-hand experience over. Experiments over, yeah, because... You're not flying like, anymore. There's a, there's a dentist out here who murdered his wife because that's what fucking men do. I uh, yeah, I read about I read about that guy. Jesus. And this dumbass spent months googling things like how much cyanide to kill a person, what are untraceable poisons, how much of this would to kill, how much arsenic to kill a person. Then he ordered a bunch of cyanide to be sent to his job. Yeah. And then he pled not guilty. Honey, no. Every everybody fucking knows you killed her. But just my it, Google searches are so incredibly random. If I'm ever like under suspicion for something, they're gonna go through my Google history and just be like, none of this even makes sense. <laughs> you're, you're why? You're not. You don't get because ADHD. You you don't get to fly anymore after you do this shit. You don't get to go on the plane anymore. It's it's you're done. But wait, someone's found a new spin on it. And you know what? We we find out what happens. I didn't know this is what happens. This is what happens. And it's you're in so much fucking trouble. London Bridge Chaos Sparked by two southeastern passengers getting fed up and wrenching open train doors to walk down tracks. Southeastern Railway has confirmed that two passengers forced open the door of one of their trains in Hither Green, leading to electricity on the tracks having to be turned off for tens of thousands of people. Yeah, train tracks are electric now. Yeah, their journeys are being disrupted into what tra travelers have described as complete chaos. Operator at the exit, uh, the incident caused delays to several trains and at some of our stations, meaning crowd management plans were activated. Commuters were confronted with dangerous scenes at London Bridge Station as large crowds of passengers bunched together in waiting areas and on platforms. Um, let's see what to say. Um, yesterday evening, two customers forced open the door of a train that had come to a standstill outside Hither Green meaning electricity, the railway had to be cut off in that area for safety reasons. The incident caused delays to several trains, and some of our station's crowd management plans were activated by our team to ensure everyone could complete their journey safely. Tens of thousands of people's journeys were disrupted last night because of the actions of a small number of individuals. You know, frustrating delays are. Encourage customers, blah, 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 blah. What the fuck? Also, you're incredibly lucky that um, everybody you know didn't forget who you are and you didn't wind up living in a different underground world where you would live on rat burgers for the rest of your life. Right? <laughs> just, I can't just traipse around under, under fucking London, man. It's old and there's weird shit down there. I, it's, You fucking you. You're a dick. Yeah. 
Like you are, they are so fucking lucky that when they, apparently, I guess this is a, a trigger that when you pull the door open like that, the electricity shuts off automatically. Unless somebody was out there going, what the great. fuck are you doing? And hit the button. But either way. a great safety feature if they have it. Because you don't want to fuck with electrified train tracks. I think I told that story about elementary school where they pulled us all into assembly and were like, the train will murder you. But the tracks will murder you faster. Like, who does not understand what the third rail is? There's three of them down there. One of them has a surprise for you. Yeah. A it's... spicy surprise. <laughs> well, there will be smoke. You will be Cajun style. Um, and someone in the channel is like, why did you base money on a ticket if you were fine with walking in the first place? Yeah. If your ass was that impatient, why did you get on the train? If you just want to walk 20 blocks, just walk 20 fucking blocks. It's probably raining. It's London. Two... Uh, uh... These and you know these two dumbasses are like what? What do we do? What? So what do we do? We just what do we do? Stop, mate. We we wanted to get to the the, the football match. All right, you're about at it's Dick Van old. Dyke levels of of English accent yeah. right now. There are people in the UK who are just sort of like. <laughs> Well, you know, some of y'all aren't very good at sounding American either. So you know. Okay, so this is new. Um, and this is so stupid. I've never been to Venice. I'm curious about Venice. It's 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 just such a strange city to exist in the modern day. Venice like drained this year. Oh, mm, yeah, it was kind of crazy. They... Like, they couldn't run the gondolas because the streets drained, which is fucking terrifying. But I've never, we've never seen this before, and guess what? We, we, we've got video. We do, in fact, have video. Let me give you the link. And here, there's that. And let's bring out the video so you can all see this complete fucking idiot. This total donut. Um. Oh, yeah. my God. Yes, there you go. And as you're watching right here, that's a guy at the top of a three, four-story building uh, in Venice, overlooking one of the canals. And uh, there he goes. That's going to hurt so bad. Yeah. And he's in so water, much trouble. Water Kids has this thing called surface tension. And it will kill you. Not only that. Probably not from three stories, but it'll fuck you up. Here's me doing my research. I actually looked into this. Did you know that the, the, the canals of Venice are not a single uniform depth? No. And in some areas... They are as deep as, you know, 15, 16 feet, which, you know, I guess you could you could belly flop into that. In some areas, they're as shallow as six feet. See, see, if you jump into six feet of water from a great height, you're still going to collide with the bottom. Maybe a little slower, but still fast enough to make you sad you did. And I, as, under as I understand it, the canals have finished are not very clean water. No, they are not. It's if they are ripping boats on them all day. And and it, it's pe people don't really care. It's it's the canals of Venice and it's Europe. Take from that what you will. Um yeah. and you what Venice hunts for an idiot who jumped off three story building in a canal. And he Try to do like the Spider Man thing too. Calling the man is going to make it hurt more. Calling the man an idiot. Venice's mayor, Luigi Brunaro, that's a cool name, said in the uh, Twitter post he would give the man a certificate of stupidity and lots of kicks, which has gone viral on social media. The mayor also added a video of the dive to his account, saying the man is an accomplice, took the video, and will be arrested. Any other person wearing only boxer shorts can be seen jumping from the building roof in a canal and landing on his belly. 
Uh, Jump is just a lazy account of people behaving badly in Italy. Because, yeah, they do stupid things on social for likes. The mayor said, adding that we will use the law to prosecute him. It, 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 you, they run boats on those canals all day. And you could have hit all the day. boat. You could have, in theory, whapped a you boat. You could have shredded by a boat. Yeah, it's because, yeah. And the people on there would have to deal with your impacting ass from a high point, And it's everything you just did was stupid in so many ways. Uh, just, uh, Ronan says, just search for the man with the cave dip rib cage. He won't be hard to find. And like, no knees. To yeah. At all. Like, do y'all not have Mythbusters? Apparently not. That shit's like season one. Right? Like, like all those people who jump off bridges in movies, they're dead. Yeah. You, you can't do that. Well, they did, they did the thing with James Bond to see if he could get shot, and they actually found that with the guns they were using, he'd be okay. If they busted out much bigger guns, they would have got him. Only Redneck says, I'm just shocked he wasn't naked. Yeah, kind of. That that's kind of the only surprise here, too. Okay, here we get to the horrific part. This is... This is the old Japanese cartoons thing I was talking about. Oh, my God. You fucking gross moron. What have you done? Serial sperm donor fathered 550 children sued for increasing incest risk. There he is. That's uh, Jonathan Jacob Meyer. Hi. Yeah. Because, you know, they let you pick. I don't think they show you pictures, but, like, they let you pick. A serial sperm a dossier. Serial sperm donor has fathered 550 children. He's being sued amid accusations his prolific donations increases the risk of accidental incest. Netherlands, Netherlands Donor Kind Foundation is taking Jake, Jonathan Jacob Myers uh, to court. John Jacob G. Clyber Schmidt, his name is my name. Too. His name is my name, too. <laughs> uh, to, at least his sperm is. To stop him donating sperm and accuses him of lying about the number of children he's fathered. Uh, Dutch sperm guide, uh, sperm clinic guidelines say donors should donate to a maximum of 25 children or to 12 women to prevent inbreeding, incest, or these psychological problems for donor children. Yeah, and that's not like here, where he's spread out over 50 states. This is the Netherlands. That's like a state. It's not that big. No. That's like the size of what? Like New Jersey or something? Something like that. Maybe Georgia. Maybe the size of Georgia. Illinois. Something. But, but our maps are distorted, so it's hard to say. Um, The civil case is being brought with a Dutch mother of one of Mr. Meyer's children, who has been named only Eva and had the child in 2018. If I'd known he'd already fathered more than 100 children, I would have never chosen him. I think the consequences have for my child, I'm sick to my stomach. Donor Kai wants the court to order Mr. Meyer to stop donating and find out which clinics he's <laughs> donating <laughs> to. It also wants all of his sperm and storage to be destroyed unless it's preserved for a woman who already has one of his children. Um, Mr. Meyer... Um, Anytime your kid dates, you got to do a DNA test. Mr. Meyer, 41, a musician from The Hague, is on a Dutch donation blacklist, but has continued to donate abroad, including in Denmark and Ukraine. The 41-year-old is also approached prospective parents looking for home insemination online and on social media, and so there's no sign of changing his behavior. Mr. Meyer, who now lives in Kenya, when offering him to be a sperm donor, he refused to comment when questioned about... Uh, by, by Dutch broadcasters. The Dutch Gynecological Association uh, raised the alarm about Mr. Meyer in 2017. Last year, Donor Kind said it had identified 10 doctors who had illegally used their own sperm for great children in the Netherlands working on a central register of sperm donors. Does, is this his kink? Yeah, I was going to say, that's like a weird, gross fetish at this point. Right? 
also reminds me of the X-Files episode, Small Potatoes. Yes! That was gross, too. Like, how did, how did they find out? Do all these kids have tails? No, all of them just have incredibly bad taste in music. They, like, yeah. love acoustic guitar. They play hacky sack. They wear those weird the uh, beanies that look like, you know, the, the knitted cap things. You know those fucking things. Hey, I wear those now sometimes. <laughs> just imagine Next week. Imagine some like some woman in the Netherlands like, yes, my child just sits at home all day and smokes weed and watches TV. Maybe it's just your kid. No, there's like a hundred of them that do it in the same neighborhood. Yeah. All the kids are smoking weed and listening to fish. They just listen. They keep listening to fish all day. All day. Fish. Just over and over. Like a weird little cult for himself. Like, this is like. Like, Kenya? They don't want your pasty at sperm in Kenya. What are you doing? Random white dude shows up. Who wants a kid? Fuck you. <laughs> we don't want your colonizing shit. Like, seriously, seriously you, now there are going to be kids who, like, your mom is going to be like, okay, we have to tell you, yeah. your donor father might have left you some time bombs out there. So you're going to have to ask to do the old 23 and me. <laughs> gonna have to ask some questions before you Sorry, vote down it's not a you it's, it's not a eugenics thing um we just need to make sure you're not brother and sister the fuck this fucking guy they, they just could not stop him from jerking it which fine but jerk it into a sock like everybody else Oh my! You don't gotta listen to you. Monty Python never said shit that was literal. Okay. Every sperm is not, in fact, they hatred. Mean, they didn't mean any of that shit, and they definitely didn't mean every sperm is. That was satire, sweetie. I didn't mean it. Oh, our last one tonight is from Maryland, and it's just this is yep, this is us. This is our wheelhouse. This this is us. Man strips naked, jumps on fire truck after crash. Uh, spokesman for the Monterey Montgomery County Fire and Rescue Service said crews responded to a crash on Interstate 270. Uh, Perry just said firefighters encountered an unattended vehicle and the lead driver disrobed, dropped all his clothes in the middle of the road. The naked man jumped onto like the fire, the man jumped onto the fire truck after attempting to enter several vehicles. Um, the man jumped onto the truck and was attempting to get into the moving vehicle. They slowed down so the man would have to hold on. The doors were locked. The man appeared to be suffering from, quote, excited delirium. That's or at least he wanted that as a defense. Yeah, because everybody on the channel is already going, meth, 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 meth. That's or at least he wanted to plead temporary insanity. Because, yeah, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, shit, I wrecked my car. I can't have any more points taken off my license. Well, it's time to get out, Mr. Happy. Yeah. That's going to be crazy. That's seriously, yeah. No, I, I had a moment. You could see my dick. That's how crazy I was. Look at me. I'm the fire hose now. <laughs> <laughs> no. Jason <laughs> Statham is not beating up ten dudes with you. I promise. <laughs> Best used to a meme. See the Oscar twenty twenty five. Jesus Christ, you're trying to kill me here. Oh my god. You can stay here, but you can't walk on my keyboard, okay? <laughs> Because you type stuff and you turn on Siri and I don't know how you do it. Oh, okay. That was too good. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh. Men, I hate to break it to you. You are not, in fact, the fire hose. <laughs> and you never will be. I'm sorry. So either he's a genius or meth or an idiot. Why not, thinks he's a genius. Why not both? Why not both? Why not both? 
<laughs> God damn it. Sir, no. All right, say hi to the internet. Hi, internet. Look at me. I'm oh, so cute. Simba does not want to. And then go sit on your keyboard. Simba does not want to. Jesus, Sage Christ. Oh, like, boy. Thank you. You can hang out. You just got to stay on your own keyboard. If you have a turn plan. Theory and mess up shit. If you have a plan that involves you running out in the middle of the road naked, the highway, it's not a great plan. plan. It's, yeah, it's that's a bad plan. No. That's a, that's a terrible fucking plan. Like the guys on the fucking fire truck are like, you see this guy's dick? Yeah, there's a dick. We get paid. Them. Honestly, we're volunteers, Steve. We don't get paid shit. I honestly wish something like this had happened when my dad was a firefighter. Oh God, your dad would have murdered the motherfucker. Because my dad drove the truck, so I feel like he would have just opened the door. And watch the naked man fly. Loud exclamations. Just loud Irish exclamations. Get the fucking fucking thing. Like, shot him. Fucking get yeah, it. Fuck it. They had to stop letting him use the radio. <laughs> because of his accent. They couldn't, like, they, they were having problems. Like, he would say, like, his truck was 371. But he was a carryman. So three is tree. <laughs> Like, the, the running joke is, ask an Irish person to say 33,333, <laughs> because every digit is pronounced differently. 33,000. Because it's 30, 30. tree, thousand, tree, hundred, 33. Yeah. Tree. <laughs> so, tree 71. What? <laughs> so he drove, but they couldn't let him use the radio. <laughs> and I honestly can really picture my dad just like opening the door. Yep. Just, just and done. closing it again. Just done. You, quite literally, they do not get paid enough. They don't, some of the times they don't get paid at all. Like they're down there to save someone's life. And what are you doing? You've got your dick on their windshield. They don't need that. I'm here to tell you. Because we live just half a mile from the local firehouse, the fire rescue were the first ones to show up for Dan. And if somebody pulled this shit while they were trying to save my husband, I might have done something I regret. You know, I, 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 I found a news story this week that you can, in fact, kill a man from crushing his testicles. Just something to keep in mind. I, I, I'm not even joking. I was like, I read this like, holy fuck. Fucking dead. Crush his testicles. Just say it. Um, so the first thing we learned this week is if if your brilliant plan involves high speed vehicles and nudity, it's not very brilliant. You notice how they don't do that in the Fast and the Furious movies? And I could be wrong because I've never seen a Fast <laughs> and the Furious movie, but I feel like if they had done that, I would know about it. For all you know, the Vin Diesel's... That would become a meme. Oh, uh, you know, Vin Diesel's out there with a very different type of Tokyo drift, if you get my meaning. Like, um, I feel like that would have been memed at some point, and I know it. We, we've we learned that sometimes you just got to stop jerking it. It's for the good of mankind. Put your dick just away. Jerk it. jerk it in your own hole. Right. You don't have to share. You ain't Johnny fucking Appleseed. We've learned that the canals of Venice are lovely, and they're also putrid, and you don't know how deep they are. Get your ass off the building. And a three-story jump. Yes. It's going to be. You don't do a three-story jump like this, because people jump off cliffs yeah. in tropical locations. They fucking cannonball. Yes. You want to reduce your surface area hitting... A plate of glass yeah. you're going to fall through. Yeah. We have learned that uh, the, the, the third rail is not your friend, and if you get it shut off, no one is your friend. Like, thousands of people in London are like, what the fuck was his name? I, I can't do one either. Like, you're, terrible. you're stepping out of that tunnel to an angry riot with your you're meat on it. Yeah, fuck it, you fucking... Fucking, you fucking, you fucking, you fucking, just every fucking, fucking, fucking. That would just be the entire night. Um, we've learned when you open the airplane door, 
the slide comes down and you go to jail. You're welcome. Ta da! They should have that to monop. They should have that to monopoly. <laughs> go to jail. <laughs> do not collect baggage. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Street could jail. Finally, we've learned if you're going to steal the hopes of, of children at the fucking Target. Maybe don't use a stolen car as your getaway vehicle. You just kind of got a turducken of stupid crimes layered on top of one another. At least it wasn't at the car wash. 